Introduction to dendritic spines in health and disease. When I was at medical school I was taught that nerve cells or neurons have several fibers receiving information from other neurons. These fibers are called dendrites. They are so called because they appear tree-shaped on microscopy. Dendron means tree in ancient Greek. The dendrites were usually drawn as smooth, edged in diagrams. There was no mention that the dendrites had protuberances upon them called dendritic spines which are shown in greater detail on a photograph on the right. The dendritic spines have synapses or connections with other neurons on their surface. Synapse means connection in ancient Greek. Dendritic spines were first described by Kegel and Golgi who received the Nobel Prize in 1901 for their work. This photograph shows hundreds of synapses in yellow on the dendritic spines of a neuron. This is a close-up view of large dendritic spines in red with associated synapses in green and white protruding from the shaft of a renal dendrite in blue. The electrical activity of dendrites with more spines is greater than dendrites with fewer spines. This is another photograph of a neuron with the dendrites and dendritic spines. What do you think it resembles? The dendritic spines resemble the leaves on a tree. The dendritic spines are plastic or continually changing shape and can become more dense or less dense in a matter of hours. This photograph shows how stress reduces dendritic spine numbers. The reduction of dendritic spine numbers may be compared to the reduction of leaves on a tree from summer to winter. The spines or leaves are reduced in most psychiatric diseases. These include schizophrenia, alcohol and drug dependency, anxiety, depression, autism, Alzheimer's disease, stroke and head injury. These are photographs showing the reduction in spines or leaves in alcohol dependency. These are photographs showing the reduction in spines or leaves in opioid dependency. These are photographs showing the reduction in spines or leaves in schizophrenia. The reduction in spines or leaves is usually associated with an abnormal immune or allergic reaction to a substance and genetic abnormalities. This means that inflammation causes the change in spines. The new term dendritis describes this inflammation of the dendrites and their dendritic spines. In conclusion, the dendritis organic model of psychiatric disease may lead to improvement in the understanding of these diseases when combined with the older receptor and neurotransmitter or lock and key model. Perhaps patients with mild and moderate psychiatric disease may understand their disease more easily using the organic model of dendritis. It is expected that there will be more photographs of dendritic spine abnormalities in psychiatric disease in the future.